want to start off first and foremost by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone, and salutations to the Akim out there who, you know, pushing this word in all sincerity and all truth, you know, peace and blessings to the elect starting with the 144,000, as well as the men, women, and children who make up that large multitude whom the Lord, you know, has foreordained to receive mercy, you know, through his sacrifice, you know, that he shed when he, um, he went on that cross, you know, and died for the sins of the elect. You know, shalom to you all. Now, this lesson is um is going to be entitled, you know, why does vocab Malone not speak against this? Why do why does vocab Malone not speak against this? And we know, you know, he's not going to, you know. And I'm going to reveal, you know, what I'm speaking about, you know, in a while. But we know this man's whole mo, you know, is to um is to target Hebrew Israelite camps, you know, whether they be um. GMS camps or other camps, he particularly specializes, if you want to call it that, in um in One West camps, you know, camps that that, that stem from um, the old school at One West, you know, and he pretty much tours the world, you know, because he went to Europe, you know, recently, yeah, um, you know, tracking down, you know, Hebrew Israelite camps to try to discredit them, to try to disprove them, and he, he's been doing this for years, you know. Um, accusing us of um, of of rave, accusing us of, um, of of being you know a hate group, you know accusing of of being you know racist, which there's nothing wrong with that, you know accusing of of of, of being dangerous and deadly, you know. But the men on the earth who are actually perpetrating wickedness are not held accountable, you know, by this so-called uh, um, apologist, which an apologist is an is a is a defender. If you are if you are a defender of the gospel, you should defend against anyone who offends, you know, or who goes against the scriptures. So I have here an article in the Jamaica Observer that was posted yesterday, July 5th. Right? It says Canadian Archdiocese to pay 104 million to sex abuse victims. Let me read it again. Canadian Archdiocese, right, which is a Roman Catholic thing. Right, to pay 104 million to sex abuse victims, and this is not the first time, right? Um, you know, sex abuse scandals have been, you know, revealed, you know, going on with um with the Catholic Church. This is this is not the first time, and it's definitely not going to be the last, right? But you will never hear Volker Malone speaking against the Catholic Church, saying, you know, these men are, are pedophiles, these men are child molesters. But you will see him levy that same charge or that same allegation against us because we teach from the scriptures that you know rape is actually in the law there's a law right to um to, to address a situation concerning rape and different forms of it there's laws concerning that in the scriptures right and again gets on us because we say that in ancient times according to biblical customs and ancient eastern customs women were married as soon as they hit puberty Right? Which we've been over this over and over. We, we've shown you the historical documents. We've shown you the, the, the scriptures. Right? But this man, along with others, have done their best to twist you know, the, the, the scriptures, to twist what we say, right? to accuse us of these things. But here we have international news. Right? These men actually being charged with these crimes, having to pay a, a hundred and four million. Right? Let me read on. It says, Montreal, Canada. The Catholic Church is to pay 104 million Canadian dollars to hundreds, hundreds of victims of sexual abuse from Eastern Canada, according to a statement released on Friday. In 2020, the Archdiocese of St. John was found liable for one of Canada's largest child sex abuse scandals at Mount Cashel Orphanage, a now defunct boys' home orphanage in Newfoundland and Labrador province. So these were boys, little boys, right, that were being abused, right? The court found sexual abuse was perpetrated by priests and other church officials at the orphanage starting in 1940, continued over the course of several decades, right? A total of 292 victims will receive payouts ranging from 55 to 850,000 Canadian dollars, right? It's ridiculous. 
and you will never see this uproar among these Christians that have now been invigorated to come and address the Hebrew Israelites, calling us bums, calling us rapists, child molesters, and all these different things, right? Which are just wild accusations and false reports, right? Going against the laws. Scriptures say you shouldn't raise a false report against your neighbor. But these men are and women raising false reports, going around slandering us, right? Because they want to twist what we say and twist the scriptures. But these actual perpetrators of these crimes never speak against them, right? This is Ecclesiastes 13 and verse 3. The rich man has done wrong, yet he threateneth with all. The poor man is wrong and he must entreat also. So we have to, you know, um, use code words when we speak in videos, right? Because the least of the thing we say, we're penalized. Videos get taken down. Right? But these men are out here perpetrating the worst kinds of crimes, yo. Right? And you don't hear people, you don't hear an uproar. You don't see Vocab do um going to, to a Catholic church doing videos on them, speaking about the wickedness that they're perpetrating. You don't you don't see that. James 2 1 1, right? My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the Lord of glory. With respect of persons. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Right? His focus is solely on right Hebrew Israelites, which he calls black Hebrew Israelites, which is a, a misnomer, right? Which is a mislabeling of what we are. We are Hebrew Israelites. We're not black. We're not associated with that term black. Because that word black means devoid of light. Right? Devoid of understanding, devoid of knowledge. We're not, we're, not, we're not associated with that word black. Black culture is the ruin of our people. We are Hebrew Israelites. Right? It says, read it again, my brethren, I have not the faith of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. Since you're so, you're such a, um, an, an avid advocate of the, the, the truth, right? You're such a passionate apologist for the truth. Defend it against these other men who are actually confessing right actually being found guilty right these men who who um because the pope is is supposed to be what the, the, the vicar of christ right the, the, the representative of christ on earth yet his church the catholic church right is the one that has perpetrated the most uh, um, child abuse scandals in any religious organizations right so <clears throat> let me read on for if there come unto you a, 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 an assembly, a man with gold ring, in goodly apparel, and there come also a poor man in vile raiment, and you have respect unto him that wears the gay clothing, the, um, the IUIC is guilty of this to calling us bums, saying that, you know, we dress like bums, right? So you have respect of, uh, against us because we don't dress fa fancy, because we don't, we don't kick off our Passovers coming in on a horse. <laughs> Anyways. You have respect to him that wears the gay clothing and say it unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, say to the poor, Stand out there and sit under my footstool. Are ye then not partial? Are you not partial, Vokia Malone, for not speaking out against these injustices? Which you know you won't, right? Because you're hired by them, right? Are you not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, has not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and ears of the kingdom which he has promised to them that love them right proverbs 28 verse 21 to have respect of persons is not good for for a piece of bread that man will transgress right if you are somebody who makes decisions or who judges based on respect of person you can be bought out that's what the scripture is saying let me see if i can read it in the um in the nlt Proverbs 28 and 21. Showing partiality is never good. Yet some will do wrong for a mere piece of bread. Right? Selling out. We see it with some of these camps. And we know it with, with, with Vokia Malone. Right? But the thing is, if you judge us, and I'm speaking from, from the standpoint of Great Millstone members. I, I can't speak for any other camp. But if you if you if you judge by, by, by actions, by the fruits that we produce. You will see that we are not guilty of these um, baseless claims, these um, the, the, these slanderous accusations that have been laid against us. You can see by our, our fruit. You can see by our videos. 
Matthew 7 verse 16 You shall know them by their fruits Do men gather thorn, grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so every tree that bringeth forth good shoot but, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit And you see that with the example that I brought out from the article The Catholic Church always bring forth what? Corrupt fruit You're always hearing them talk about you know, um, child abuse uh, uh, um, cases being levied against Catholic priests. This is a common thing, right? These were hundreds of little boys over the span of decades, right? Having them in that orphanage and molesting them. And what you find is that a lot of these, um, a lot of these child uh, um, protection agencies or, or orphanages are, or, or, you know child rescue services they are the ones perpetuating the child trafficking the child sex rings and the sexual abuse of children you know, they are the ones perpetrating it you are you you are supposed to be a, an orphanage a safe haven for um for for, for um for for what you call them again now the word is slipping for orphans right for the fatherless as the scriptures speak about you know protecting uh, and caring for the fatherless you're supposed to be a safe haven for them but you are the ones Molesting them, right? But yet we are the ones that get the bad rap because we teach something that is unorthodox according to you know mainstream what is accepted, right? Every tree that bringeth forth not good food is hewn down, and ultimately that's what that is what is happening. The truth is coming out and it's revealing this man for who he is, right? And cast into the fire, wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them, right? We're gonna wrap here. Right, revealing this man, Second um, Thessalonians two and verse three on down in the NLT. Don't be fooled by what they say, for that day will not come until there is a great rebellion against God and the man of lawlessness is revealed, which is Esau, Edom, the one who brings destruction. He will exalt himself and defy everything that people call God and every object of worship. He will even sit in the temple of God, claiming himself that he is God. Because they claim that they are the representatives of, you know, Christ on earth, the vicar of Christ, right? Don't you remember what I told you about all this when I was with you? And you know what is holding him back. For he can be revealed only when his time comes. And his time is now, yo. He's been revealed from the 60s, you know, with um, with, with our um, forefather, Abba Bivins, which is Elijah coming back in the spirit, right? He says, for this lawlessness is already at work secretly, which at the time it was the Roman Empire. And it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Right? The angels are revealing who this man is, yo. This man will come to do the work of Satan, will counterfeit power with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. He will use every kind of deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them. So God will cause them to be greatly deceived and they will believe these lies. Then they will be condemned for enjoying evil rather than believing the truth. So that's pretty much what I'm going to bring out. You know, hopefully this lesson was edifying. So next time, shalom.